Hello dear students, today we are going to learn about some special quadrilaterals, trapezium and parallelogram. So this is uh, today's topic, trapezium and parallelogram. So be ready with your notebook and uh, your uh, pencil and ruler so that you can take the notes side by side. So let us start the activity. So draw two parallel lines. So here I am drawing line L is parallel to line M. Now let us mark two points each on both the lines. So here I have taken two points A and B on the line L and uh, point C and D on the line M. Now join AC and BD. Now you can see a closed figure. Yes, ABDC is a closed curve. It is a simple closed curve. I am just talking about ABDC. So I, I can, you know, write it like this or make it again for you. So this is A, B, D, C. Now here you notice A, B is parallel to D, C. Right? So here we see a quadrilateral and this is a special quadrilateral A, B, D, C in which AB is parallel to CD. Right? So that is, we can say that one pair of opposite sides is parallel to each other. So, there is a special name of such quadrilaterals in which uh, one pair of opposite sides is parallel and such a quadrilateral is called as in mathematics we call it as trapezium or there is another name called trapezoid. Okay, now in trapezium also, if you notice, like let me draw a trapezium here and you will get to know the difference. Here ABCD is a trapezium, AB parallel to CD. And we see here that AD is equal to BC. And let me make another. Just observe closely. Here PQRS is another trapezium in which PQ is parallel to RS but uh, PS is not equal to QR. So there are two possibilities that uh, non-parallel sides are equal and here non-parallel sides are not equal. So when there is a trapezium in which non-parallel sides are equal so, when non-parallel sides are equal, we call them as isosceles trapezoids. So, we say that this is isosceles trapezium. Like we have uh, isosceles triangle. Do you remember isosceles triangle? Yes, in isosceles triangle, two sides are equal. So similarly in an isosceles trapezium, two non-parallel sides are equal and one pair of opposite sides is parallel to each other. I hope it is clear to you. You have learnt about uh, trapezium. Okay, now let us do another observation. So what I am trying to do now is we will be taking pair of lines. 
which are parallel to each other. So here L is parallel to M. And let me take another pair. So here I have drawn two more lines P and Q which are parallel to each other. So it is L is parallel to M and P is parallel to Q. Now observe the point of intersections. Uh, let me mark the names A, B, C, D. If you notice this A, B, C, D, this A, B is parallel to C, D and B, C is parallel to A, D. Right. Now I am making this here again. This shape only. So you will see that this is a quadrilateral and this is a special quadrilateral. What is speciality in this? That AB is parallel to CD and AD is parallel to BC. So can I say both pairs of opposite sides are parallel? Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel to each other. So again, there is a special name for this quadrilateral and such quadrilaterals are named as parallelogram parallelogram and there is a symbol for it this is how we write it parallel symbol of parallel followed by gm right so what is a parallelogram if somebody asks you what is a parallelogram so one thing is clear that it is a quadrilateral now it is a special quadrilateral because it has certain properties. What is that property? That both pairs of opposite sides are parallel to each other. Now notice that all parallelograms, in all parallelograms, when two pairs of opposite sides are equal, obviously one pair is equal, opposite side is uh, uh, parallel. So two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So one pair is parallel. So Parallelograms are trapezium, they, are, they have the property, but all trapeziums are not parallelograms, right? So, you have to be very careful about it. Now, let me take some uh, information about parallelogram and uh, we say that parallelogram is a quadrilateral. Obviously, it will be having the properties of quadrilateral. So, let us list the properties of this parallelogram. So, we know that how we write it. <clears throat> we write it as parallelogram A, B, C, D. So, how we draw? We draw it like this. Both pairs of opposite uh, sides are parallel to each other. We represent it like this, put arrows for uh, representation of parallel lines. Okay, so let me now see, it's a quadrilateral, so it has four vertices. Can you name the vertices? A, B, C, D. Fine. Okay, it's a quadrilateral, so it has four sides. So, can you name the sides? A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A. Okay. So, it has two diagonals also because it's a quadrilateral. In a quadrilateral, we can get two diagonals. Let me join A, a C and B, D and they intersect at point O. So, yes, there are two diagonals. A, C and B, D. Okay. What is another property of a quadrilateral? Can you tell me something about the sum of the interior angles? Recall? Yes, you are right. It is sum of all interior angles is 360 degrees. So, I am writing here angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is 360 degrees. Okay. Now, let us further explore some interesting properties because it is a special quadrilateral. So, there are some properties of the parallelogram. So, let me make the parallelogram again. A, B, C, D. So, you see that there are four angles. 
angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D. Notice that opposite angles here angle A and angle C <coughs> are equal. So angle A is equal to angle C, angle B is equal to angle D. So opposite angles of a <coughs> parallelogram are equal. So this is the first property. You can write down in your notebook. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Now the second property. Both pairs of opposite sides. Opposite sides are also equal. So we say AB is equal to CD. And AD is equal to BC. So AB is equal to CD. And AD is equal to BC. So opposite sides are equal. Now the third property is related to diagonals. So if you draw the diagonals, the diagonals, they intersect at point O and in a parallelogram, the diagonals, they bisect each other. So AO is equal to OC and DO is equal to OB. So write down diagonals bisect each other. So write down AO is equal to OC and the second is DO is equal to OB. We will be using all these properties for solving the questions. Right? Okay. Now let us make some more interesting observations about the parallelogram. Now I will be asking you some of the results which you have learned in parallel lines and transversal. Okay, so try to recall those properties of parallel lines and transversal. So here PQRS is a parallelogram. So PQ is parallel to RS and uh, QR is parallel to PS. Right. Now, if I ask you, what is the relation between angle P and angle S? Think and tell. Think and tell. What is the relation between angle P and angle S? We know that angle P and angle R are equal because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So here PQRS is a parallelogram. So what is a relation, the relation between angle P and angle S? You know the relation between angle P and angle R and angle Q and angle S. But what about P and S? Yes, think. What is coming to your mind? Okay, can you see a pair of parallel lines and transversal? Then uh, you can see the relationship between angle P and angle S. Yes, you are right. PQ is parallel to RS and PS is transversal. So, Angle P and angle S are co-interior angles. They are angles on the same side of transversal. And you know that their sum is 180 degrees. We say co-interior angles are supplementary. Very nice. So co-interior angles are supplementary. Therefore, angle P plus angle S is 180 degrees, right? It will be helping you. I'm telling you when you will be solving some questions, it will help you. So, let me ask one question. Okay. 
If I say angle P is 60 degrees, okay, can you find the remaining angles of this uh, parallelogram? So there are three angles which are left. Good. So, this is 60 degrees. So, what will be angle S? Angle S will be 180 degree minus 60 degrees because uh, angle P and angle S are co-interior angles. So, they are supplementary. So, their sum must be 180 degrees. So, 180 minus 60 gives you 120 degrees. Fine. It is 120 degrees. Now, very simple. This is 60. So, this must be 60. Angle P and angle R are opposite angles of the parallelogram. So, both should be same. And angle uh, S and angle Q, they are also equal. So, angle Q should also be 120 degrees, right? Good. Okay, let me now ask you another question. So, be ready. This is again think and tell. So, think and tell if I say A, B, C, D in this figure is a parallelogram and uh, here angle C, B, E is an exterior angle and this is 70 degrees. Can you find the remaining angles of the parallelogram? Just think and tell. Yes, we can find it. Okay, what will be this angle? Yes, these two are making linear pair. So, angle 1 plus 70 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So, angle 1 will be 180 minus 70 that is 110 degrees. They are making linear pair. Now, if this is 110 degrees, so this will be also 110 opposite angles. This is 70 because they are co-interior and this is also 70. So, they are, you know... Uh, there is a beautiful relationship between opposite angles and the adjacent angles of the uh, parallelogram. And you see a relationship with the exterior angle as well. Right? So, now I will be discussing about some of the questions in my next class. So, prepare the properties of uh, this trapezium and uh, parallelogram. And we would be discussing about properties of some other special quadrilaterals like uh, basically parallelograms we will be discussing about uh, rectangle square and rhombus right